In this video, I'll show you how to add a lead to multiple projects. As I'm making my calls, I connect with an Antonio who's looking for a space to lease. He wants four to 5,000 square feet for five years at around seven to 8,000 a month. In the real next CRM, I right click projects and pick open link in a new tab. That keeps my contacts open so I can jump right back to Antonio's record. Here in projects, I see my team's listings. We have listings for buyer rep, tenant rep, for sale, and for lease. I'll set a filter showing listings that are for lease to see what might fit Antonio's needs. As I cover the different listings, Antonio asks to see information on three of the spaces. Now I want to add Antonio as a lead to those three spaces so I can track his interest and include him in my weekly owner reports. I'll switch back to the Contacts tab where I'm still on Antonio's record. I right click on his name and select Add to Project. This brings up the lead dialog where I can attach him to as many projects as I want by typing in the first few letters of the project name. I can also fill in the fields to help understand what he's looking for, such as size, deal amount, and notes, and then save the record. Each record has a tab for projects, which shows the deals that person is interested in. Let's click the project tab for Antonio. Notice Realnex created three lead records from that one entry I just made. That makes it easy for anyone on my team to see the spaces Antonio is interested in, as well as his status on each one. As time goes by and the status on each space changes, it's always here for anyone on my team to see, even from their phones. No more searching dozens of places to see what he's doing. It's also easy for anyone on my team to update Antonio's progress. They can click the project tab from Antonio's record and change any field easily. For example, Antonio calls back and says, After reviewing the information, I'm not really interested in Three Flags Plaza. So, we can change the result of that project to lost and ask why. He says, I don't like the location or the layout, so I can note that for my owner's report. Here's a hidden treasure in Realnex. I could just type in his objections, but you can also create default answers for fields. Notice the little button on the right side of the edit box? That indicates there are default answers for it. I can click that button and just check the objections from the list. When I click Save, those are automatically added to the field for me. Antonio continues that Balboa Square and Town Square look interesting, so I ask if he'd like to tour them, and he says yes. I update the status of those to Tour Scheduled so it shows on the owner's report and my colleagues see his interest. I then right-click the Calendar button and choose Open Link in New Window, which lets me see my team's calendar, but also still see Antonio's record. I ask when he'd like to tour the two properties, and he asks, how about next Friday at 11? I see that's open, so I say OK. Then, I come back and right-click in Antonio's name and choose Add Event. I fill in the fields. Notice Antonio was automatically linked to the event for me. I can also include the event on one of my colleagues' calendars using the Participants field, as it would be helpful to have them come on the tour. Here's another hidden treasure for you. In Realnex CRM, we let you create your own event types. Tours are very important to my team, so I want them to stand out on calendars. Notice in the dropdown, I have a lot of different event types instead of the three generic ones most CRMs have. I created those event types to help differentiate the events from the generic meeting, phone call, and to-do you see in most CRMs. Notice when I choose Tour, the color changes to red. That's also a feature in Realnex. You can not only create your own event types, but you can also set a default color for them. I'll go ahead and save this event, and then show you my calendar. See how the tours stand out because of the color? And it's easy to set up event types. Click the Settings menu, and then System Tables. You have to be an administrator to see the System Tables menu. From System Tables, click Event Types. In this window, you can manage all of your event types, including the default duration and color. When we left this demo, I had just scheduled Antonio for a tour and hung up the phone. Five minutes later, Antonio calls back. He gets one of my team members and says, I need to change the date on a tour I just scheduled with Bobby. Is he around? My team member says, Bobby's on a call, but I'd be happy to change the tour. 
She looks at his record and says, You're Tora Balboa Square in Town Square next Friday? He says, sort of shocked and pleased, Yes. Can you change it to Thursday the 20th? My team member checks the calendar and says, No problem. You're all set, Antonio. Is there anything else I can do for you? Notice Antonio was taken care of immediately by someone other than me, even though he only made the appointment five minutes ago. It didn't require my team to run through the office asking who Antonio was or who he's working with, or say, let me have someone call you back, Antonio, and help you. My teammate didn't have to call and let the rest of the team know the appointment had changed. That one change took care of Antonio, updated everyone's calendar, updated the record, and updated all of the reports. When it comes time to update the owner, I can go to the project and print a number of different reports. This particular report shows the leads I'm working with for this space. Notice that Antonio was automatically included in the report with the latest updates on his interest record by my team member? Can your CRM do that? Let's take a quick look at the other side, approaching leads from a project instead of a person. When we're working with a lead, we see the information under the Projects tab on their record. For example, I want to see which projects Antonio is interested in. So first, I'll go to his record using the Search feature on the Contact button. Then, I'll open the Project tab. There, I can see all of the projects Antonio is a lead for. One of those is Town Square. This is a helpful view of which projects Antonio is interested in, but what if I wanted to see all the leads for a specific project? That's simple to do. Instead of opening the contacts, you open the projects using the button at the top. These are my projects, or in this case, my listings. If I click on Town Square, I see at the top, it has a lead tab. When I click the lead tab for Town Square, I see everyone who's interested in this project, including Antonio. From this tab, I can enter interested leads. What's new is you can now add multiple leads in one dialog. Let's work on a new listing I got for Genesee Apartments. I click that project and go to the Lead tab. I then click the Add New button to add leads. I have a list of three interested buyers from a trade show I just came back from. In the field labeled Link To, I start typing their names. One of those interested buyers was our friend Antonio. Another was Jack Jones. And the third was Susan Lawness. It appears Susan isn't in my database. Here's another new feature. You can add Susan right from this dialog now. On the menu, click New Contact. From here, add Susan and fill in her details, and she's now a part of your database and a lead for Genesee Apartments. Can your CRM do that? There's a reason real estate professionals use Realnex. We're not a generic software program. We're focused on real estate. Because of that, we do things that are very important to a real estate professional that the other programs don't. If you don't already have Realnex, you can go to www.realnex.com and sign up for a free demo. Thanks for listening.